Peace and greetings, everyone. Divine Zero here. I wanted to finally introduce the latest project. <clears throat> this is kind of what uh, we've all been gearing up to. This is uh, currently called Project Starbeam, and um, it's pretty much a compilation of a little bit of everything and a little bit more. Um, so I hope you enjoy this first test and uh, let me know if you think this is cool and you would like to see more of it and eventually it will be open sourced and um, you can get your PCB printed at uh, PCB way with my discount that's the best way you can support me and um, allow me to keep making projects Peace. enjoy so this is it see the cipher box to the left um, so it runs off of a ESP32, this is using the 32D, and it has two CC1101s, and it also has uh, three NRF24s, um, and also a USB-C port, and a few other things. Um, but right now, we're going to look at a little test um, using this. Um, it was kind of difficult to run the five modules all together, um, so I'm testing them each individually with my NES SDR and an antenna connected to my MacBook and using SDR++ I can um, scan for radio signals pretty easily. And with this test uh, I'm going to be using a key fob which is at around 433.9 uh, megahertz. And one of the functions uh, this has is to uh, generate signals with uh, sub gigahertz frequencies. Um, so using some of the test code, we can interact with the CC1101. And then you answer the command, or you can um, command it programmatic, programmatically and you can see now it's generating uh, tons of signals and it's generating way more signals than the key fob and the nice thing with uh, this project starbeam is that there's two cc1101 radio modules so uh, technically that'd be double the signal generation or you could generate signals and receive on one end um, so you can kind of be creative with that and then you can just stop it and you can see now the key fob can generate its own signal and be heard and that's about it